We work so you can play. Hey everybody, Paul here. Ready to do another painting tutorial. This time I'm doing uh, work. Shaman. If you can read that. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. So here we go with some base coats. Um, we just got some uh, nylon green on the hands. Uh, this is Calton Brown on the uh, the bone there, and actually all of the brown bits are the same Calton Brown base. Uh, this is a piece from the Warhammer basing kit. There's resin skull and stuff. Uh, we've got some purple here. That's just the uh, uh, foundation purple and the uh, solar orange, Macarius solar orange there for the uh, part of his tunic. And just look at the back, same deal, just a little bit of bolt gun metal there. And uh, some coffee grounds on the base with uh, some scorched brown and uh, Kemri brown around the edge. So here we go, just a first le level of uh, shades. So it's, um, Ink washes everywhere, basically. So we got Devlin mud on all the brown parts, uh, orc uh, thraca green on all that, and um, the bale bow red on the uh, the orange bits there. And uh, Devlin mud's gonna go on the sword, and there's gonna be some badass black on there as well. So first level of highlights. Um, so that's a uh, back with the bolt gun metal there. Um, using uh, so for the bone ones, I'm using Reaper bone triad. So that's gonna be uh, aged bone for that area, and uh, using Beastel Brown for the brown bits, um, using the base orange color again for the highlights here, and using Blood Red, oh that would have been Scab Red for the base coat, that's what it was, so the Scab Red. Okay, so this is second level highlights, so going real fast, we got uh, bone, uh, polished bone there, Reaper bone, um, using some uh, leather brown there, Reaper again, uh, on the flesh, uh, the medium highlight would have been Snot Green. And the bright highlight is going to be scorpion green, so it's almost like a neon green. Uh, blood red on the red bits, and uh, I'm mixing in um, a bit of a white there to the the orange, just so I don't end up with a yellowy orange. So that's just going to be what is it? Vomit brown, actually. Yeah. So it's just an off white almost, and mixing that in with the orange gets me a nice orange color. Yeah. So uh, you can see the brown there is a bit different. That's just using different highlights. Um, again, a bit with vomit brown, I believe. Uh, polished bone there, getting the top bits, and I'm going to be doing this with some uh, chainmail silver. And really that's it. So i uh, done some detail here to the eyes, teeth, a little bit of gold here. Some of these bits are gold, so that's just uh, starting with a dark brown and then highlighting it up with uh, burnished gold, Games Workshop range. Um, this here, you know, just uh, working up the layers and the highlights with the Reaper colors. Added in some uh, toenails, just going to work our way around here. Um, I tried to vary up the colors on some of the uh, pouches and stuff, just so they were done with the same base colors. Um, I just used the Palomino Gold Triad for some of these, and I used uh, the Leather Browns uh, for other parts. And uh, in order to get that back to an orange color, I did a bit of a glaze with the orange. So that's just a really, really thin down coat, just to help blend in after the Vomit Brown was added on top. Nice simple model. Um, just tried to make the uh, the details in here smooth. Try to smooth up the highlights to get his eye bright. Just a bit of blaze orange highlight. Um, the red here is also uh, so it's uh, sorry scab red followed by blood red and then blaze orange uh, for just the edge highlighting. And there's a bit of a look at the back. And that's all there is to it. This guy was a really fast paint job. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, check out uh, what I have coming up next. Take care.